This is the story of the Dark Crystal. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring like this. Let's begin now. In another time, in another world, gentle gelflings and simple podlings live together in peace. Every thousand years, the three suns of this world would come together in a great conjunction of blinding light. Tremendous energy would pass through a magical crystal located at the heart of a shining castle. But during the last great conjunction, the crystal cracked and a single crystal shard broke off and was lost. The crystal darkened and evil came into the world. Two new races appeared, the cruel Skeksis and the gentle mystics. The Skeksis took control of the dark crystal and brought unhappiness to the land. An ancient prophecy said that their harsh rule could be ended, but only if a gelfling healed the crystal. So the Skeksis ordered the death of every gelfling to prevent the prophecy from coming true. However, the good and wise mystics saved one gelfling baby, a boy named Jen, and raised him in their hidden valley. Years later, as the mystic master lay dying, he summoned Jen to his side and showed him the image of the missing crystal shard. Jen, soon the three sons will meet again. Find this shard, or else the Skeksis will rule forever. Seek Orgara, keeper of secrets. The shard gave off a clear musical note and disappeared. And the mystic master faded from sight. Oh, master, I will go where you send me, though I barely understand. So Jin left the valley to find Agra. At that same moment, in the castle of the Dark Crystal, the emperor of the evil Skeksis also died. No sooner had he dropped his scepter than the chamberlain snatched it up. Mm. I should be emperor next. It should be me. The Skeksis general howled. Chamberlain, lay down that scepter. I challenge you to trial by storm. Slaves, bring us the sword. The Chamberlain went first. With all his might, he crashed his sword against the trial stone. <laughs> but nothing happened. Then the general swung fiercely. <laughs> and the black stone shattered. It's me! I'm emperor now! Throw the chamberlain out of the castle forever! Just then, the crystal sounded, and the Skeksis rushed to the crystal chamber. There in the dark crystal was an image of Jen. The general shuddered. A girlfriend alive? How can that be? We've killed them all. Angered, the general turned to his army of huge, dark, beetle-like creatures. Got him! Find the girlfriend now, or he will destroy us! Meanwhile, Jen continued his search for Agra. As he struggled up a rocky cliff, Long Vine suddenly reached down and pulled him off the ground. Hey! A hideous one-eyed woman stepped before him. You, Gelfling, can't be all dead. But I am a Gelfling. Are you Agra? I seek the crystal shard. Is that all? Come, Gelfling, follow me. 
Agra touched the vines, and they set Jen down. Agra led Jen to her wondrous observatory. Everything in the heavens is here. That's how I know next great conjunction coming. Better find your shard before that, Gelfling. Agra dumped out a box full of crystal shards. Jen searched through them carefully. These three look like the shard my master showed me. But which one is it? Jen thought a while then piped the sound his master's shard had made. The middle shard began to glow. Agra, this is the one. But what do I do with it? Why, you must heal the dark crystal. But before she could explain, Gotham warriors ripped through the observatory wall. Jim jumped onto a passing metal moon and sailed over the Gotham's heads. Below, Agra fought off the invaders. <laughs> Fearing for his life, Jen hurled himself off the moon, crashed through a window, and tumbled down a rocky hillside. But both he and the shard were safe. Struggling through forest and swamp, Jen cautiously moved past plants that flew and creatures that uttered strange sounds. Suddenly, a ferocious furry face leaped at Jen. <laughs> He lost his balance and fell backward. Oh, no. Right in the mud. Then Jen heard a voice nearby. Dolaf is geek. Dolaf. As Jen looked up, a young girl stepped out of the bushes. The growling ball of fur became quiet and jumped up into her arms. Jen gasped. You're a gelfling. I thought I was the only one. I thought I was. I'm Kira, and this is my pet Fizzgig. Here, take my hand. I'll help you out of the mud. The instant their hands touched, Jen and Kira began to see visions. Jen was frightened. What's happening? We're dream fasting, sharing our memories. The image you're seeing is of me with the podlings who raised me. In an instant, the young Gelflings learned everything about each other. Their rescue as infants from Gotham attack. Their childhood adventures. Even Jen's meeting with Agra. Kira smiled. Come on, Jen. I'll take you to my people. Once they arrived at Pod Village, the cheerful podlings carried in platters of food and drink. Merrily, they banged their drums and laughed and sang and danced. Jen grinned. Kira, this is such a happy place. How long can we stay? As long as we want. Shyly, Jen joined in the dancing, but suddenly the wall crashed in. It was the Gotham again. The terrified podlings ran in all directions. Kira grabbed Jen's hand. It's us they're after. Quickly, Jen, follow me. The young Gelflings fled into the forest to escape the horrible Gotham attack. Gasping for breath, Jen and Kira finally stopped to rest deep in the forest near the ancient ruins of the Gelfling civilization. There, Jen discovered a wall covered with strange carvings. Kira, look! It's a prophecy! When single shines the triple sun, what was sundered and undone shall be whole. The two made one, by Gelfling hand, or else by none. A shadow suddenly fell across the Gelflings. Mm. It was the Skeksis Chamberlain. Prophecy cause all this trouble. Skeksis fear Gelflings. Bad mistake. Come to castle. Show them you want peace. Please? The Chamberlain reached out to Jen, but Kira pulled him back. No, Jen, it's a trick. Jen fled after Kira into the forest. Now I know what I have to do. I must go to the castle and put the shard back into the crystal before the great conjunction. Look, Kira, the suns are almost touching. Meanwhile, far away, the mystics also watched the three suns drawing closer together. It was time for them, too, to journey to the castle of the Dark Crystal. 
Jen shook his head. Kira, we'll never be able to get to the castle in time. Landstriders will get us there, Jen. I'll call them. <laughs> Stanny Tamar. <laughs> Doba. Two tall, insect-like beasts with long, spindly legs strode out of the woods. Jen and Kira climbed onto their backs. Hang on, Jen. They go fast. In no time, they arrived at the castle, only to find it guarded by Gotham warriors. The land strikers attacked badly, and Jen and Kira were thrown to the ground. The Gotham surrounded the Gelflings at the edge of a deep ravine. Kira wrapped her arms around Jen and jumped. But instead of falling, they floated safely downward. Kira, you have wings. I don't have any. Of course not. You're a boy. At the bottom of the ravine, they entered the castle through a dark and foul-smelling underground passage. Strange creatures scurried along the ground. Suddenly, out of the darkness, the Chamberlain reached out and grabbed them. You die, Gelfling! Jen wriggled free, but the Chamberlain pulled down a beam, and a pile of rocks buried Jen. <laughs> Thinking Jen was dead, the Chamberlain dragged Kira into the crystal chamber where the Skeksis were awaiting the Great Conjunction. <laughs> From prophecy. But Jen had already freed himself from the rocks and was hiding in the balcony above the dark crystal. Jen looked up at the three suns about to come together. Now was the time. He leaped onto the dark crystal, but the shard fell from his hands. Breaking free from the Chamberlain's grasp, Kira grabbed the fallen shard. Jen shouted, Look out, Kira! But Kira tossed the shard up to Jen as the Skeksis closed in and killed her. With tears streaming down his cheeks, Jen plunged the shard deep into the crystal, healing its wounds. The crystal flashed, and Jen was thrown into the air. He landed unharmed and ran over to Kira. Meanwhile, the light of the Great Conjunction shot down into the crystal and split into brilliant beams that filled the chamber. The filthy walls of the castle began to crumble, revealing its original beauty. The Skeksis were afraid. At that very moment, the mystics entered the crystal chamber. The beams of light pulled the mystics and the Skeksis together, turning them into new and kindly creatures. Jen cradled Kira's fallen body in his arms. One of the new race of tall, angelic light creatures spoke to Jen. You have done well, Gelfling. You have restored the true power of the crystal and brought back harmony and goodness to the land. We make your friend whole again. Hold her to you. As the creature spoke, Kira came back to life. Now we leave you the crystal of truth. Make your world in its light. <laughs>